Oh my god, I can't get up. <laughs> It's snowing. <laughs> welcome to Canada. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Mom. Last night we finished all of the older kids boxes. So mom was going through the middle kid boxes to determine like if we had enough beads. And she was like, oh, we have five extra bags of beads. Um, Yeah, because we have siblings in my program. <laughs> So she took all of the beads and divided them into other bags that we already have because she was like, oh, there's five extras, but we have siblings. So the five extra bags were for the siblings. Now she's being my little elf again and <laughs> separating them. I said we didn't have to and she said, no, we do. I went to Starbucks and got myself Starbucks because I'm having a sad day and I'm just sad at life. So. And it's Starbucks, isn't it? It is a grande ice sugar cookie oat latte. That's the one you like. It's so good. He didn't put sprinkles in again. It's the well, same he guy. He ask for sprinkles. Maybe he doesn't know that. No, it. the drink comes with sprinkles. So if you don't say anything. Well, it's always really busy. So I'm not going to be like, um, excuse me. Can you hold off making these eight other people's drinks so you can give me sprinkles, please? Thank you. Did you pay for sprinkles? I don't know if I paid for sprinkles. All I know is I paid for the drink. Is the drink supposed to come with sprinkles? Yes. I think you paid for the sprinkles. Get the sprinkles next time. Well, I don't like being, what's the word? Um, Customer? I don't like being like- Confrontational? Not confrontational, but like a nuisance. Like I feel like I, that's just being a nuisance. That's like buying a cheeseburger without the cheese. That's what you do. Would, would you say, <laughs> excuse me, sir. I mean, I wouldn't. Maker. You would send it back and say, um, you forgot the cheese on my daughter's cheeseburger. Yes. And I would just sit there and be like, eh, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to give it to me. I would just, I would like it better, but you don't, you don't have to. Well, enjoy it without sprinkles then. So mom handed me the beads and uh, the bag was open. So now it's all inside the boxes. <laughs> My day is going so well. We're on our way to Costco. Not Walmart. No, not Dollar Costco. Tree. Costco to get pizza for me. That's not the real reason. We're also gonna get lots of other stuff because I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet and it is 12.52 and I've had coffee. So we're gonna fill eaten, that card. Eaten, okay? No, because you said we were going to Costco, which means that's, pizza. That's why you were so disappointed when I said dinner? No, I, as long as I get the pizza, I'm happy. Oh, okay. I just want the pizza because Costco pizza is the best pizza. I'm excited for these. Nom, nom, nom. Cheese? No, this. This is the best thing we bought. This is good. That's what she's excited for. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, yeah, baby. Can you talk about the impatience of people? Yes, people are very impatient. When we went to Costco, there was this old man who had, like, some issue with walking. I don't know if it was, like, arthritis or... Parkinson's or something, but he was in front of us. So we were taking our time because we weren't gonna run him over. One man behind us was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, sir, do you not see the sir in front of me who literally cannot walk right now? He said I didn't say that, I just gave him a look yeah. because I don't like confrontation, but I was just like, I mean, he, he might not have seen him because I saw him walking out. But still. Oh, but still, the impatience of people, especially at Christmas time, is just mind boggling to me. So we waited. And then this one other lady, mom was like turning the corner to go down another aisle, but the checkout line was, you had to go through it to get to where she was going. And the one lady who mom like went in front of, she let her in and then like, she kind of kept going forwards cause she had to get around the corner. And the lady was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, she's not cutting in front of you, like chill. She was not impressed. And then I turned down the aisle. Yeah, and, and then she, she stopped she, talking. I wonder if she was a little embarrassed by that. I don't know, but she's like, excuse me. I didn't hear that. Yeah, she said it like three times and that's why I like went down the aisle really oh. fast so that I, I was hoping that she would see that you were with me so that she knew you were going down there. Mm. But she just kept saying, excuse me. I was like, <sighs> just like that. Just like that. <sighs> Hello, it's very cold. My hair is frozen. We're going to Eminem Meat Shop. I don't know if the state does that. Uh, I don't know. But it's very cold, so I stay in my little hidey hole and not come out to very very chilly i don't know what we're gonna go buy i hope that we get brie cheese with cranberry it's like a pastry 
and it's delicious. It's my favorite thing. And it's supposed to serve four as an appetizer. And I and eat it, it all myself. <laughs> and then she complains that she has an upset stomach. But it tastes so good, you can't stop. I have no regrets. Oops. Look okay. at this. It's so cool. It's like ice on our windshield, but it looks like it's like a cracked window. That Anybody? was a big waste of time. They didn't have my cranberry three by three. So I got nothing and mommy got nothing because what we usually get doubled in price. So mommy was not impressed. Look at my hair, it's frozen like this. Did it go hard? hard? Is it crunchy? <laughs> on the bottom. I don't like it. Has anybody had these? They're chicken bones and they're so good. They're like they're cinnamon, cinnamon with but chocolate inside that. of it. It's so good. Thanks. An avocado. Welcome to Cooking with Jay. Today we have our special guest, Marianne, <laughs> and we are making peanut butter marshmallow squares. First up, you must what? Measure your peanut butter. To what? One cup. One cup of peanut butter. Mm, science. Science. You want this Cleaning your workstation. <laughs> <laughs> this is butterscotch chips and butter. Is that it in there? Oh, okay, and, and peanut butter. Wow, that was aggressive. It was in my hand. Jeez Louise. Now we get to melt it and mix it, and we have to wait for it <laughs> to actually die because it's not dying because it's still hard. This is the update. It looks like baby Pardon? diarrhea. Mommy measured out a cup of coconut over there. And three and a half cups of marshmallow. Three and a half cups of marshmallow. That does not look like three and a half cups. Just getting. You don't have to keep I'm getting rid of all the butter. Uh -huh. Okay. Because there's still chunks of butter. Okay, now but we wait. Smearing it higher and higher. You know Which doesn't what? matter because we're just good. <laughs> <laughs> you always take know, over everything why, I do. Which is why I stopped. Carry on, you're doing great. I just want to be in control nope. all the time. Nope. Oh and now you must butter the pan. This is my least favorite part because it feels disgusting. Mm, that's why I put the baggie on. I don't like it. You dump the coconut in the marshmallows and you mix it all up. No, you... That's no, what you said. No, you do you. You're, that's what you said. That's not what I meant. Oh. That's okay. It's so mix them up and then throw them into this thing. Well, I did it wrong. Are you mad at it me? Doesn't, no, not at all. It, what no, I do wrong? Nothing wrong. That's what you said. Yeah, probably. You're wrong. She no, literally said, no, you know dump what? the coconut in the marshmallows. I think I said dump in the coconut and the marshmallows. So what's the difference? Is, that's why I said it doesn't make a difference. Just throw it in the mix. <laughs> you drive me crazy. Shut up, Dad. Help. Why are you so mean to me? You're gonna make me want to die. You have no head. What? <laughs> I can do it. I'm doing it. Are you though? <laughs> you. You have no head. <laughs> That's okay. I don't need a head. I'm proud of you for learning how to step back and relinquish control. Is it bothering you that it's getting all up the sides? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing wrong that you don't like? You're doing great, baby. What if I just you know like doing threw great. some on the wall? Would that bother you? Is this good enough or do you want to take it's, over? Do you want it's... to? Do you need me to use a spatula? What's wrong with it? What Nothing. did I do? I wanted to know how much goo was on the bottom. That's I did good. You did great. You're so mean to me. I am acknowledging your greatness. With sarcasm. There's no such thing. Look at all the goo on the bottom. Oh my God. It's nothing to do with you. Mmm, looks you know like vomit. Clean your workstation. And then you flatten it all down and then oh, put it in the fridge you. for how long? As long as you want. Oh, okay. That looks gross. But it tastes good at the end. It definitely does. I'm just trying to disperse the goo. 